Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris Glitzos, also known as a wood tinkerer. Today we have a very special build. I built this nice Halloween lamp and I'm going to show you how it was built. And it really works. This is a very simple build. It starts by putting up a sketch. I did mine in a green marker. It seemed to work out pretty well for me. Some adhesive, wait a while for it to become tacky and then stick it on. And since I'm doing four layers of wood, it's best to wrap it around with clear plastic. X as a lubricant. I like doing all my drilling for my starter scroll saw blade holes. This saves a lot of time throughout the build especially not having to go back and forth with drilling one at a time for the blade to pass through. Since this is a Halloween project, the cuts do not have to be perfectly on the line. That could be a little bit off. You are allowed to make mistakes in this build. It just adds more character to the dark side <laughs> of the gloom of things. So just do the best you can. Now that it's done, taking it all apart, uh, take your time. These four pieces of board, they are held together by double tape. Uh, the cuts are fine and the workmanship is very fine as well. It is easy to break things off. All done. Go over every piece with a light sandpaper. Once every piece is sanded nice and fine, it is time for the glue up. For me, it was easier to glue up two corners together and then attach all four corners in one shot. Take aim to line everything at a 90 degree angle and mask and tape will hold it all together. Now let the fun begin. I always love a can of spray paint. It is easy to cut plastic glass. You score to one side then on the other and it snaps right off. Sometimes you may have to cut a smaller piece. A pair of pliers does a nice, real nice and straight cut. I wanted the color to be orange. I was not able to find an orange piece of plastic glass. I found a pumpkin orange color Ziploc folder and I bought it. I used some adhesive on the plastic glass and then I trimmed it to size and that worked out just fine. Placing every glass panel in its proper place to get ready for glue up. To simplify things, what is better than a hot glue gun? That will adhere the plastic glass right onto the wood and well, no time flat. It just takes a few seconds and it is done. The inspiration for this build was first was Halloween or let's say these night lights that my wife bought uh, for outside for me to build her a lantern and they were just sitting around and I had to put them to good use and that's exactly what I did with this Halloween lantern. They have just the right light for the job. It is time to start building the base and the top. I'm also using the router. Take your time with the router. Uh, take perfect precaution while you're doing this. It is a dangerous tool. I also like rounded corners and a little sanding will go a long way. I did not fabricate the ball, but the best way to drill it is one of those hole saw cutouts that I did to rest the ball on top. That will hold the ball perfectly in the center in order to get a nice drill hole. I'm also drilling the base 
and I'm cutting the dowel that will fit between the base and the ball. Spraying with the perfect color pumpkin orange. Coming out really good. It is time to assemble the top portion and to get it ready for painting. A little glue goes a very, very long way. You don't need much. Cutting out the space for the battery box to fall into is easy. Just outline with a chisel and then start cutting in the middle. If the chisel is sharp enough, you could actually push it with your hands and it will cut sharp as a blade. Not bad. Coming out nice and clean. On this build, I try to use a flat black. It turned out really nice. Time to fabricate the legs. This is the best way that I know how. Little tiny hockey pucks. We spray them the pumpkin orange. This battery switch box is one of the simplest ones to put apart and put back together again. To pass it right through the opening and glue up is simple. Just add a little bit of hot glue and you're done. Put a generous amount of glue on this and the bottom piece. Very straightforward. Line the pieces evenly and add a counterweight on the top to keep them together. Attach the handle to the dowel pin. As usual, I like to have some fun by painting funny faces. A pumpkin face will do just fine. Let's attach the top piece to the base. Put a decent amount of glue and set it in place evenly. That pumpkin face really gives it character. Ooh. Halloween looking. Making the leg scratch resistant, we adding a cork backing. Gluing the orange legs onto a black platform will make the whole lantern come together nicely. I love the way the black flat paint with the pumpkin orange came to complement the whole Halloween theme. Nicely done. If you like my video, please share with a friend. If this is your first time, there's more to come. The wise thing to do is subscribe. Please leave any comments and a thumbs up always goes a long way. God bless everybody and happy Halloween-ing. <laughs>